So there's been a lot of talk lately about who Linux is for. Like, who should use Linux? And a lot of this stuff is spawned by the Linus Tech Tips Linux Gaming Challenge and how much of a problem Linus has had using Linux. But this is not a new question. Like, who is Linux perfect for? It's something that people have been asking for pretty much the whole time there's been Linux. And there's no actual answer because... Really, Linux is for everyone. Linux can be for anybody who wants to put the effort into learning it. The thing is, is that recently there's been a lot of talk about Linux only being for developers. And this is such a wrong-headed idea that I don't even really know where to start. Is Linux good for developers? The answer to that question is yes. Obviously, Linux is good for developers. Is it better for developers than Windows? I don't know. I'm not a developer. I can't answer that question. A lot of developers seem to think so, so they use Linux, and I'm happy for them. I'm glad that they had that opportunity. But I don't think that we can go so far as to say that Linux is only for developers. We can't also say that Linux is for new users either, because it's not really meant for super new, non-technical users. It's just not. Linux is not that operating system. It's not that easy to use, especially for the type of users that would come and not be willing to put in the effort to learn it. Because as I've said before, Linux is not Windows, and therefore you can't treat it like Windows, or Mac OS for that matter. So is Linux only for developers? If it's not for very new non-technical users, then it has to just be for developers, right? No, I don't think so at all. I think Linux is for people who are interested in putting an effort into it. Because the one thing that we universally agree on, or at least I think we universally agree on in the Linux community, is that Linux takes some effort to learn. Like, you can't just come into it and know everything about it and know how everything works because some things work different than what normal people are used to. So you have to put some effort into learning it. You also have to have some level of responsibility for your own system. It's not something that you have to do on Windows. When something goes wrong on Windows, you call somebody to fix it or you're technical enough to fix it yourself. But mostly, you call someone to fix it, or you nuke and pave. I mean, I, I know when I was just a, a, a little lad, fixing Windows usually entailed just reinstalling Windows. And I know that is the case still for a lot of people. So, on Linux, you have a responsibility to learn how to maintain your system. It's not something that really exists on Windows. And I think that that does create a barrier of entry for who is... I don't want to say eligible to use Linux because anybody can use Linux, but I think it does create a barrier of entry for the perfect Linux user, the the perfect new Linux user. Because if you just if you switch to Linux and you're not interested in putting that effort into, and this is something that I've talked about many times before, if you're not willing to learn and willing to have an open mind of about how things work, you're never going to succeed. So that level that <laughs> barrier entry has kind of ruled out a large portion of the computing market because the vast majority of people, when they want to use a computer, they just want to turn it on and use Google Chrome and, and navigate through Google Photos or whatever. That's all they want to do. They don't want to have to think about actually maintaining their, you know, their computer in any way. They don't want to have to learn a new way of doing anything, whether it's, you know, interacting with a file manager or learning how to install software or do updates. They don't want to learn how to do any of that stuff because chances are they didn't learn how to do any of that stuff on Windows either. Like they, The vast majority of people probably don't know how to update their Windows machine. That's the reason why Windows is so forceful in doing updates for their users because the vast majority of them will never do it themselves. On Linux, nobody's going to force you to do anything. You're going to have to learn to do that yourself. And if you're not willing to do that, Linux isn't for you. But Linux isn't just for developers. That's a fallacy. If Linux was just for developers, the gaming market for Linux would be really, really small. Like, there'd be no reason for Steam Proton to exist because there's just not that many developers out there that would be interested in and also all the games that are on Steam. I mean, there obviously there's quite a bit of crossover there because a lot of developers are gamers. But you can't tell me that the level of interest in Linux gaming is simply because the developer community likes games. There has to be more than just 
just those people, you know? So I think that the, the Linux community actually encompasses a lot of people that aren't developers, people who are into content creation of all, all sorts of types, whether it's music, whether it's video, whether it's writing, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff, whether it's gaming. There are a lot of people who use Linux because it games. It can game. Now, obviously, those aren't the normal people. Uh, most normal gamers use Windows. But there are those people. So I don't think you can argue that Linux is just for developers. It's just not something that you can argue because I don't think it's true. I, I haven't seen any evidence that the only people that are surrounding me in my Linux community are developers. In fact, I'd say most of you who are watching this probably aren't developers and you probably use Linux. Now, whether or not you use Linux as your daily driver or you use it in some kind of dual boot mechanism, I don't know. I, I would say that there's a good portion of you out there who still use Windows on a daily basis and uh, because of work or whatever, and you use Linux on your home computer or whatever. I think that that encompasses, encompasses a lot of people who are just enthusiasts and not necessarily people who sit in front of a Haskell machine all the day and trying to do some Haskell. So that is really kind of a rambly video, I know, but I just wanted to, to cover that topic because it's been brought up quite a few times in the last week or so. A lot of Linux YouTubers are talking about this now because we've seen the outcome of a, of a new Linux user switching to Linux who seems to be unwilling to learn a different way of doing things. We've seen that outcome. Now, a lot of people are also calling a lot of us Linux YouTubers elitists. And I don't think Linux elitism is a thing, right? It It is there. Like, there are a, a sizable portion of the Linux community that doesn't want new users at all. Or they want the barrier to entry to be so large that it, only a trickle of people will come ever come in. Those people do exist. But the most of us here aren't interested in shutting people out. The Most of us are interested in bringing people in, but we're interested in doing so in a way that is going to ensure that when they start using Linux, they have a good experience. And you're never going to have a good experience if you come into Linux unwilling to take at least some steps to learn it, because Linux is a different thing than what you're used to. It does things differently. It doesn't mean that you can't do things on Linux. It doesn't mean that the only thing you can ever do is for developers. That's just utter nonsense. But it does mean that you do have to put some effort into it. And it, that's the reason why a lot of us are cautious about who should use Linux, because not everyone is willing to put in that effort. So that is it for this video. If you have thoughts or comments, you can leave those in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. I really do appreciate everybody who has already done so. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too. Patrick L. Primus, Sid A, Marcus, Meglin, Jackson F. Tools, Steve A, Mitchell, Art Center, Amateus, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, J-Dog, the BSD's Rock, Peter A, Crucible. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.